today I'm going to share with you five rules for a cleaner bathroom because maintaining your bathroom can be overwhelming, especially if you let things build up. And I believe that a bathroom should always be, let's call it guest ready. Meaning if your best friend knocks on your door unannounced and wants to come in for coffee and a hangout, you're not going to die of embarrassment when they go and use your bathroom. So in this video, we'll cover those five rules. They're easy. You can stick with them. You just have to know what they are. One of the hallmarks of a clean bathroom is a clean and splatter free mirror. And I will extend that to the faucets as well. There's a simple way to maintain this. And while you might think it's paper towel, just keeping a roll under your bathroom sink and touching things up, I'm going to challenge that. And I'm going to say switch to a flat weave microfiber cloth for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're not disposable. So you can use these tons and tons and tons of times. And second of all, they leave a streak free and lint free result. So you get much better results using this anyway. Now I would suggest using a DIY glass cleaner and my solution, I take a spray bottle, I add a cup of white vinegar, a cup of water and a teaspoon of cornstarch, which provides just enough texture and grit to lift anything off a mirror, but without scratching. You gotta try this. You will be a changed person, I promise. But the combination of this flat weave microfiber cloth, that great DIY glass cleaner, and a little bit of extra attention a couple times a week, just touching up those messy spots will make your mirrors and your faucets shine. A big challenge in any bathroom is soap scum, hard water buildup, and mildew slash mold depending on your flavor. So the easiest thing you can do to combat that is use a squeegee on tile and tub surfaces as well as glass surfaces after your shower. It takes less than a minute, but what it does is it removes all of the liquid from your surfaces. Therefore, when everything dries, your tiles, your glass, your tub, it's nice and clean and you will never see soap scum. I understand that not everybody has a large counter and you might even have a pedestal sink, but the idea here is that you want to reduce as much clutter as possible in the bathroom, whether that means finding a great storage solution or organizing solution. The idea is you want to keep your counter as clean and clear as possible so that you can be functional in the space and use whatever real estate you do have horizontally for the task at hand. And then anything that you're not using, you can store away. Whenever I use somebody else's bathroom and I finished washing my hands, I always say to myself, do I trust these towels? Like when was the last time this person probably washed their towels? But frankly, in any bathroom, there needs to be a textiles routine. In my house, I probably do a load of towels slash bathroom textiles once a week, but I am changing them out at least twice a week. So I'll go through the house, kind of pull everything out when everything's dry, and then I replace everything. It doesn't take long, but it just makes the bathroom feel fresh. And I know if I have a guest come over, they won't feel weird about using our stuff. Whether it's nose hair trimmings, chunks of toothpaste in the sink, spilled face oil, whatever happens to make its way onto your bathroom surfaces, rather than leaving it, wipe it up immediately. Those little messes compound and make your bathroom look so dirty so fast. So the tip here is just to stay on top of those little messes and it takes nothing more than grabbing a couple squares of toilet paper or a microfiber cloth that you keep in your bathroom specifically for this purpose and wiping up those surfaces. So now that you have these five rules to keep your bathroom cleaner, you'll, you see like it's not a lot of work. It's just the mental notes that you have to make to stay on top of this stuff so that your bathroom is always guest ready and your bathroom makes you feel better every time you use it. I will also mention that the beautiful flat weave cloth as well as the luxury face cloths, the hand towels and the bath towels that you saw me using today in this video are all on makersclean.com. It's my line of microfiber cleaning tools and a bath collection, so you can check that out. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.